Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today, I am going to look at some art supplies that I picked up and kind of just um, swatch them out. Now, I am about a week into summer vacation from work, so I'm a school teacher, and um, now I've been able to spend a lot more time with art and different art supplies, meaning that I am just experimenting a lot. Um, I haven't been filming as much but it's a lot of kind of sit on the couch, drink tea and sketch and have fun. So I've been doing that um, and playing with new things. So I wanted to talk about some stuff that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I picked this up recently. This is the Master Touch, um, the tan, recy tan recycled sketch paper. This seems to be reminiscent of the, I think it's the Strathmore. I'm wondering if they're having Strathmore make this for them. It says made in China, so it might be the same location. Um, I mean, I doubt Hobby Lobby or Master's Touch has a way of just producing all of the different things that they do. I think it's just a rebranding. Who knows? Let me know if you know anything down in the comments below. Anyway, I've been playing with this paper and it has been so much fun. Every other week or every three weeks um their stuff goes half off so i think i picked it up for it was 15 750 which isn't bad i think that's about the price of a pad like this of the recycled um toned paper on blick or jerry's artorama another thing i picked up was this pastel drawing set i had picked this up actually a few months ago and I just haven't gotten around to play with it until just recently. This was $10. Um, half off would be 5 Or if it's 40% off, that would give you it'd be $6. Which isn't bad if you think about getting a kneaded eraser, a pencil sharpener. Um, I'm not going to pronounce the names for these. The tortillons, the, the rolled paper blending stumps um, if you were to buy these just individually you're spending about a dollar fifty cents let's say two dollars right there and then you have other stuff to play around with that being said I don't like how there's not a cover on this so I've been using this cardboard that came with it in front and I've just been playing with these guys um, another thing just to kind of get my negatives out the way is that a lot of the Master's Touch or the Fine Touch or um, the Fine Art brand doesn't have light fastest ratings and I'm always like super concerned about that. So um, this is kind of just more for fun or things that you can look at and say, oh, it has to be light fast. You know, like I would pretty much assume any white pastel is going to be light fast, as well as any black pastel. So, anyway, let's just swatch these out. We'll look at the colors. Uh, I'm using the gray toned, sorry, the, the tan toned, so you can kind of see some of these better. I think that this set is more for portrait stuff this guy right here surprised me it was on the grayer side of things and I used to play around and started playing around again with the Conte crayons and the matchbook set would often have a, a brown and this one is more gray and there's your sanguine now these guys, I don't think they're labeled with any colors, but it looks like the whole stick, the whole pencil is um, pastel with a little bit of a hard coating on the outside. So I'll just go down the line and play with the colors. And these two really had me thinking that this is for portrait and flesh tone because of that. And this one is definitely like a flesh pink or a white, white, there we go. Why the outside isn't white, 
I don't know, but it threw me off a little bit. And there's kind of our sanguine again. So let's just um, kind of play around with just um, smearing and blending and then pass them over on top of each other just to see how that looks. I found that this paper is really good for blending uh, and smoothing things out and erasing. I haven't played with pastels and charcoal in depth since college. So that's kind of this summer is experimenting with that. The kneaded eraser works good. Um, doesn't pick it up completely. And I'm wondering if that's just, I've been watching different videos. I wonder if that's just a uh, quality of the paper itself where certain things are kind of sitting in the pores or the pastel itself, if it's more oily or more chalky. I was watching a gentleman who was talking about all the different sanguine pencils, sanguine that color. And he was kind of rating them in regards to chalkiness and um, oiliness. I think that's a little bit too much detail for me currently, where I'm at playing wise. But I would understand if you were somebody who is creating art all day in those mediums, you'd want to explore that and know those differences. And I think he had said in the video he had collected those over um, a course of like 20 years, the different brands, and played around with them. So it seems good for layering. This is just playing with the, the white on top of the black, on top of the white, etc. Um, one last tool I want to introduce with this experiment, this set, I'd ordered this off of Amazon, electric eraser, $8. I did see one in uh, Hobby Lobby, $8 as well. And on Blick and Jerry's Artorama, they have some for, I don't know if it's this brand or, you know, like I said, rebranding. I saw some for like $12. I didn't realize electric erasers were that cheap or I would have bought one so long ago. Because in college we would have our stick in one hand and our eraser in the other and go back and forth. But this is just so much fun. And this paper holds up really well to this erasing. Um, so you see how quickly that erases. Oh. And if it's not wedged in far enough, it'll pop out like it did. But that's just me uh, having to figure out the correct way to use it. My buddy Ryan came over the other day and we were talking art supplies and playing around. They were saying it was so good that if this was to die in a month, I would go back and order it again <laughs> for $8 because it is just that fantastic. So, anyhow, here is a quick look at, uh, like I said, the Master's Touch that I've been playing with. Um, this is the pastel set. No idea about... Um, the light fastness of it but I think I will probably do a playful video at some point experimenting with the um, just uh, just doing portrait stuff with it and having fun um, I hope you enjoyed if you have any uh, favorite kind of go-to introductory sets and when you really think about it if you were to get this for five dollars that's a steal of a deal and um, if you were to get this for a niece or a nephew or a kid, if you were to get that and a toned book, you're looking at, what, 13 to $15 when they're on sale altogether as a gift. And that's a fantastic way to get a young person into art. So, anyhow, I will be back with more, um, with a video with that eventually playing around with portrait stuff. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you like to use in the comments below, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day.